So thank you very much, Chair. Um, yeah, so I would like to start by saying that the Netherlands is obviously a, a, a big proponent for making global value chains more sustainable, and it hasn't been mentioned here, but uh, Germany has put that subject on the agenda of the G20 as well. Uh, so I'm very happy that this is also um, uh, discussed in the G20. Um, obviously, I don't have to say that to people here, but it's a prerequisite for companies to operate conform the OSD guidelines and the UN guiding principles, which means that you need to map the risks in global value chains and undertake due diligence to prevent them. Now, this is also essential to contribute to the SDGs, as, as Pedro has already mentioned. Um, and we believe that the EU, through its policies and its market power, has the leverage to make global value chains more sustainable, to make it uh, the norm rather than the exception. Uh, during our EU presidency, um, we therefore focused on, on new EU CSR or responsible business conduct actions, uh, which has resulted in two sets of Council conclusions. It was already mentioned earlier, the Council conclusions on business and human rights of June, but also the Council conclusions on what the Europe, Europe can do more on making global value chains more sustainable. Um, now, the Netherlands really hopes that more member states will develop national action plans and that the Commission will proactively promote and facilitate responsible business conduct throughout global value chains by steering relevant policies towards this end, but also by facilitating EU multi-stakeholder platforms for high-risk sectors. Uh, we very much welcome uh, the push by other member states for an EU proactive stance uh, on responsible business conduct due diligence, like the French law. And I would like to mention two developments in the Netherlands, uh, noteworthy in this respect. The, it was mentioned already, the proposal for a law on due diligence with respect to uh, child labor, and also we are developing responsible business conduct sector agreements. Um, now, first regarding the proposal on the law for child, uh, with respect to child labor, uh, this may come into force by 2020 if it passes the Dutch Senate. Uh, so the proposal aims to ensure the Dutch consumers can trust that products they buy are produced by companies who have done due diligence to prevent child labor. Um, regarding the RBC sector agreements, these are agreements between business, NGOs, trade unions and the government per sector prone to serious risks in their supply chains. The Social Economic Council, who is present here today as well, facilitates their developments. We currently have four responsible business uh, sector agreements, including the banking sector, which is one of the sectors that was mentioned a couple of times today. And we have several more in preparation. And we believe that scaling up these initiatives to EU level will further increase their impacts. And they are very promising because they enable all stakeholders in sectors to work together to combine forces and to tackle the challenges that are most relevant to a specific sector. It also makes it transparent to the consumer which companies and stakeholders commit to collective action on due diligence. It leads to bottom-up multi-stakeholder stakeholder commitments, and there's no threshold for companies to join. Now, to conclude, we think that the EU uh, can be more proactive on promoting due diligence, but we think that this can be done by different routes, mandatory as discussed today, but also by facilitating RBC sector agreements. Thank you.